Good morning, everyone. Do you want to say good morning? Good morning. Good morning from Henry. Good morning. Good morning from Casey. Good morning from Lois. As soon as I got my phone all situated, set to go to film, she jumped on the table. She's like, oh, yeah, <laughs> it's coffee time. Mm -hmm. Oh, so happy. There's her tail. Yes, the famous Lois tail. Happy, what day is it? Wednesday. <laughs> um, if you have any morning cup of coffee or tea, enjoy. Oh, I know I will. Oh, yeah, so, um, went to Walmart last night with Henry and we checked out all the Lego and all the toys. <laughs> um, actually, I got a few new Lego sets in and some really, really nice ones. Um, one's from the new Batman movie. <laughs> and it's so funny because there's one that's called. And then, you know, my, my, I wasn't my tired. My brain wasn't working. Um, because there's one, it's called like the Batmobile penguin chase. So you have the Batmobile and you have Batman in there and then you have the penguin next to the Batmobile running, okay, right? Batmobile penguin chase, okay, makes sense. Well, not at the first at the first 30 seconds because I'm like, oh, it's Bruce, Bruce Wayne running because it looks like Bruce Wayne. It didn't look like Batman, but then Bruce Wayne is Batman who's in the Batmobile. I, I I caught myself right away. I'm like, wait, wait, nope. <laughs> you know, and this, this was at like, um, I think like around 5 o'clock at night, you know, and it was it was a long day. I, I, I had too much fresh air, you know, but the penguin doesn't look like the penguin. It looks like Bruce Wayne. So that's why it's like, you know, and I didn't, I looked, of course, I looked at the picture first. I didn't look at the at the title after and then after I looked at the title I'm like oh no oh. <laughs> my mistake yeah <laughs> I laughed yep I laughed for myself <laughs> oh you want water okay um be right back <laughs> okay Casey has his water and so do I I'm drinking my water too <laughs> Coffee's made from water. It counts. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah. So they had um, quite a few new Lego sets. Not as a lot in the Star Wars um, section. They didn't really never do. So I know Toys R Us <laughs> has a lot more variety when it comes to Lego, but especially in the Star Wars section. Yeah. Is this not too many options <laughs> at Walmart? Um, but they did have a beautiful Beauty and the Beast castle. Oh my gosh, it was beautiful. Um, I think it was just over 500 pieces, but the price tag, $100. It's like, oh, ouch. Yeah, and I knew it, I knew it was pricey even before I looked at the tag because it had one of those security things on it. So, yeah, yeah, $100. <laughs> but I'm like, I want it, you know, it's Beauty and the Beast, and you know, it comes with, it comes with two bells, and it comes with the Beast, you know, it's like, I want it, but Whoa. the price tag is not right, you know, the price is not right. What happened to the toast I gave you? Where are you going? In my tummy, I think it's in your tummy. No, you no I think it's in your tummy, it's right here. Yeah, right there. Oh, what do you say? <laughs> oh my god, boys. Life with boys. Anyway, so I will go get him toast. Um, and I am running my list, grocery list, and whatever else we need. I'm starting to write it down now as I think of it. So that way I don't forget. And hopefully I remember everything. So I wanna, I'll be going to my mom's later on this morning. Um, my parents are moving at the end of July. So she's starting to like clean everything. Um, the, ho the house will probably be going up for sale pretty soon. So she's getting it ready for showings and just cleaning it and and um, doing what you do when you put you know a house for sale and making it look making it look like you live there but you don't live there at the same time yeah um and and she's getting she has stuff for by village i guess my sister 
is going to pick up and drop off, drop off, but she wants me to take a look at it first. So, as she has some stuff for me that she's not going to be using anymore. So, I'm going to go pick that up, see what she has. How am I supposed to write on my list now? Yeah. Well, I love you in a heart. <laughs> Cute. Can I still have room? Like, do we, do we, do I'm we just using that? the back of this, yeah. Do we need that? No, you don't need that. No. I'm, I'm uh, reusing the piece of paper. Alright, so I'm going to drink this, and yeah, that's today's agenda. What are you putting? Oh, you're writing. I already wrote milk. Oh my goodness. I'm going to redo my list. Um, and, okay, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Okay, I'm going to do this, and I have to shift to do, so I'm going to do that before I go. And yeah, but we had fun at Walmart just looking around, um, saw a lot of uh Marielle plush um, I got it up. Yeah. <laughs> which I'm thinking for Easter and it's gonna be hard because they wanna go to Walmart so I'm like okay, well I need to go to Walmart too but you can't be with me when I go so I'm gonna have to make a couple trips. Yeah. Anyway, I hope everyone has a wonderful day and I'll check back in soon. Get this day started but nothing happens before coffee. Mm -mm. Coffee first. Okay, guys, time to go to my mom and dad's. It is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's gorgeous out. You don't even need a jacket, just a sweater, a hoodie, and you're good. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. That means spring is coming, right? It's almost spring. Countdown is on. And hopefully, soon we can say goodbye to our winter coats. Yes, no more. <laughs> Let me put you away for good. <laughs> well, for like, you know, about around what? Let's see. We're in April. Henry <laughs> sets the window. Hang on. <laughs> he just wanted to say goodbye, Henry. He, he opened up the window <laughs> to say goodbye. Um, anyways, yeah, put, put away our winter coats for, uh, I don't know, seven, eight months before we need them again. They can go, you know, for a long winter nap. <laughs> they can go hibernate, yes. Oh, all right, so that's my next destination is my mom and dad's. I did the dishes. I still have a few pots and pans to do, but they have to soak, so they will be waiting for me when I come home, and I will get to them. And what else this morning? What do we do? Oh, we watched The Flash. Me, of course. <laughs> Um, we finished episode five, really like a episode five. I mean, episode <laughs> season five, season five. We finished season five. We are on season six now. We just started. I think we are two episodes in. So really good. I used to watch all the superhero shows when the boys were younger, but then I got so far behind because I was just, you know, I was busy. I was busy, you know. Very busy with them because they were, you know, toddlers and um, just young. So you're you're busy. You're really busy at that stage, and I just I fell fell far too behind. You know, I didn't I didn't have time to get caught up. So, but now I can, and they are loving the show too. And I must say, out of all the DC superhero shows that are on TV, well, so far because I haven't watched. Um, I was gonna say Lois and Clark, but nope. <laughs> blowing me a kiss um, Superman and Lois I haven't watched that one yet so I want to watch that one but so far The Flash is like oh, I think always been one of my favorite ones to watch I don't know, it's, just, it's just good and there's, some, there's a, a bit of sense of humor in there so you get a good laugh and you get excited when he kicks butts you know and even when it seems that you know all hope is lost and the bad guy is going to win, you know that the Flash, no matter what, will find a way and he he will win and kick butt. <laughs> yeah, so it's been really good, and I, I want to watch Star Girl. Um, that's on Amazon, so that's that next superhero. Um, I think that's only one season so far, but I think the Superman, um, Superman and Lois. 
that is probably two seasons, I want to say. I'm not sure, but yeah. Um, yeah, watch that. I used to watch, you know, well, which, which show started off all these superhero shows? Which show? Smallville. I loved Smallville. I was obsessed with Smallville. I still love it. Um, I love it so much that if we ever had a daughter, I was going to name our daughter Chloe after the character. I'm kind of glad I didn't, though. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't. I would have changed my mind. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm glad. Like, I, I think um, I would have changed my mind because the, the actress that played Chloe in Smallville got into some weird stuff. She's in jail. But she got into some weird branding, you know, that kind of stuff. That makes you go like, what? What? Why? why? You know, everybody has a choice, but why would you make that choice? And why would you go down that road? <laughs> yeah, it was like, really? Ugh. Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> I did want to watch, rewatch Smallville. Um, a few years ago, but I haven't been wanting to, but just, I don't, I'm not ready to, like, see her character, you know, just, no, like, you know, you know, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, no, no, can't watch it yet, no, yeah, knowing what she did, yeah, but, but I used to love Smallville, oh, so good, Tom Welling, yeah, yeah, amazing, and it was on for 10, 10 seasons, yeah, yep, and that was the first superhero show, well, I, I know there's other superhero, so, superhero shows before that, Lois and Clark, like I mentioned, and um, that one was good until it got weird and with Lex Luthor cloning Lois, you know, and I think she ate a frog and that just turned me off. I'm like, yeah, no, done, you know. But DK was really good as, you know, Clark Kent slash Superman. That, that, that was a good show. And, and I know there were other Superman shows way before my time. Um, but yeah. Um, and there was, there was in the Flash show. Yeah, there was a Flash TV show. I remember that one growing up. Yeah. Oh, I know. Um, but like to bring superhero shows back, I think Smallville started it because soon after, you know, Smallville ended, um, Green Arrow started and then he got the Flash and then I think it was Legends of Tomorrow and then Supergirl, you know, and then there's other ones too. There's, yeah, there's probably other ones, um, but yeah, yeah, so, <laughs> it's, yeah, I love it. Maybe one day I, I will watch Smallville and just skip through Chloe's parts. <laughs> Fast forward, yeah, skip, skip, yeah, I know. Yeah, anyways, all right, let's get this day going. And it's officially 12 o'clock now. And, well, the day is going, but, you know, um, let's keep, keep, keep it going. Yep, 12 o'clock, church bells are going off. <laughs> take two. <laughs> Why well, I thought I was on back. Go for stop and I think I pushed the button and nope. All right. Three, two, one. All right. So I just arrived and I looked to my left and I see my bright orange hula hoop. Uh, tell me you grew up like you know 80 slash 90s you know and hula hooping was a big thing. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> a little dirty. Hi. Hi. You want to play hula hoop? Yeah, I want to play hula hoop. Where was it? Back porch. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Gotta clean off a bit. Okay. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right here, not here. I come. So I um went back home because Henry wanted to come. He changed his mind, which I don't mind. So I went home and picked him up. Uh, it's still early. It's just after twelve. I think it's like twelve thirty. But he wants to play hide and seek, so that's what I'm doing. And um. I found some treasures. Oh, well, well, I should say my mom found some treasures of mine. I'm very excited to show you guys. I was very excited to see uh, two particular posters that I had 
that I remember I bought at our school when schools, I'm not sure schools do still do this, they have book fairs, remember those days? Oh, I used to love those days, book fairs, oh, they were so, so exciting. Um, and I got these two posters at one of those book fairs and I thought they were gone, like I said, I totally, like, I, I remember them and I wondered, okay, you know, what, what did I do with them? I just couldn't remember. Um, but they, they were in the back porch and right where I left them hiding. Yeah, so very happy to have them. And there's like another poster picture that I wish I had. And it's a Beauty and the Beast one. I don't know what I did with that one. I really wish I had that one. I am looking for one that's similar to it. You know, maybe the same one, but if not similar. But very excited. I'll show you guys that soon. But right now, I, I have to uh, go find somebody. Let's see, is he over here? Hi. Oh, I hear you. Um, let's in the house. I got the squirrels have been busy. Oh, what is the, uh, <laughs> oh, the car is in the garage. I found you. <laughs> <laughs> He's hiding again. I'm not sure where he is. Oh, but I hear him. <laughs> the one great thing about being the seeker and not the hider is that you can take your time looking for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I see you. All right, so I cleaned off, wiped off the hula hoop. It's still in like pretty good condition, just a little dirty. Um, it's still like in good condition, even though it's taped right here. Um, probably was broken. Not sure how that happened, but okay. Here it goes. <laughs> that's hard <laughs> that's very hard and I used to skip with this too but I was a lot shorter <laughs> back then I wouldn't be able to do that now no that's hard it's not like riding a bike okay okay <laughs> oh that was better Ooh. okay I just need practice, that's all. <laughs> Shh, I'm hiding. I don't, I'm pretty sure he's gonna find me because there's only so many places you can hide up here. <laughs> or not. He went the other direction. I thought he was gonna come my way, but he went the other direction. And I just like walked backwards, <laughs> turned around and ran. <laughs> I think he's going to be behind the garage looking around that area. That's enough running. <laughs> I can't do too much. <laughs> he knows where I am. <sighs> Another breath now. That's my workout for the week. <laughs> Not just a day, the week. 
home sweet home and yes I brought my little hoop home of course I'm not leaving without this again no. <laughs> yeah so Henry and I had fun <laughs> running around playing hide and seek um, another thing I brought home was our bat that's a good bat yeah <laughs> keep it by the door yeah Cobra Okay, and the two posters I'm going to show you. I'm going to put them over there and I'll turn the camera around and show you. Um, very excited to have him back in my life. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to my all time favorite number one baseball player for my absolutely favorite team, Toronto Blue Jays. The one, the only, Roberto Alomar. Oh my gosh, my reaction to seeing these <laughs> um, was through the roof. I was so excited to have them. Um, so happy that they that they were still in the back porch. Um, this one still has the plastic on it. At one time they were on my wall. Yep, both of them were on my wall. And they're home. They are home. Oh, so many memories. Love him. I still love him. He's my, my number one, still my number one Toronto Blue Jay player. And Josh Donaldson is right next in line. I remember in, I think it was grade four. And we um, went across the border to see Toronto Blue Jays play for the first time. Detroit Lions. Detroit Lions. Too much fresh air. Too much fresh air. Okay, I caught myself. Detroit Tigers. <laughs> Nobody wants to see the Lions play. <laughs> no, um, Detroit Tigers. I was in grade four. I, yeah, I was in grade four, and it was my birthday. And back then, you were able to cross the border um, with only your birth certificate. That's all you needed. You did not need a passport. Those were the good days, you know, you just needed your birth certificate. And we went with, it was me and my mom and dad and my godparents. And we went, and that birthday is a birthday I will always remember. Because number one, it was my first time seeing China Blue Jays play. Number two, I saw Roberto Alomar, his cute little tushy, on second base. I saw Joe Carter. And he was huge in person. The TV, when, when you see Joe Carter, when you saw him back in the day on TV, the camera doesn't do him justice, okay? Because in person, he is just really muscular, just huge, right? He, he has the guns. And I saw him, I saw Devon White, you know, and I was just amazing. And Blue Jays won, they won for my birthday. They won, yes. And I just remember, you never forget your first ball game. And Oh, it feels like yesterday. It really does. So I absolutely, absolutely love him, even though I know he's going through some stuff right now. I know. Um, some legal, you know, stuff. Um, but I still love him. Yeah. And um, these are keepers. I'm keeping these babies. Yeah. I'm not sure where I'm going to put them, but I am keeping them. Yeah. I am. Yeah. Oh, and that desk that you saw, that wooden desk. Okay, <laughs> um, I did try to sit there. I did, of course. I had to see. I knew I wouldn't fit, but yeah, I had to really suck it in. <laughs> I, I, I fit halfway, uh, but that desk, I think, um, came from a school. I'm not sure which school. Um, and that desk is where I did lots, lots of crafts. I did homework. Um, yeah. But that's where I, I would do, like, I would write, you know, journal, like, that's where I would sit and do it. Um, so, I, and it, it did have, like, um, my printing on it. <laughs> it had uh, my, my sister's names and my name. <laughs> yeah. I mean, who didn't, you know, put their name on, like, everything? Like, yeah, everything. Or, or your initials, your initials, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah, that's where that it's going to the dump, not to the dump, it's going to the road. Um, but yeah, um, <laughs> but it's just yeah, memories. Yeah, um, I'm happy to bring him home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's home where he belongs. Yeah, and I also saw Josh Dawson play. Yep, yeah. um, actually, I think that was the boys' first baseball game, and that was ooh, 
and I'm not sure, a few years ago, probably like around four years ago. Yeah, and that was fun. That was um, right before he left to go on another team. But I still love him. I still love him. Yeah, Josh. Uh, it's just amazing to see certain players play. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so anyways, I think I'm going to end the vlog here because it's long enough. Um, Henry and I sure did have fun. Oh, I didn't really see anything that my mom was getting rid of um, to my village. Nothing that I needed or didn't have already. Um, but she did give me a mop head that's like almost brand new um cookies which have been tasted and they are good um jam i got a strawberry and i think an apricot and two straws that are full so i got 400 all together so that's just what i grabbed and that's all yeah, so now I gotta put everything away. It's like three o'clock, I think. So I'm gonna end the vlog, say goodnight, put it together, and go bippity boppity boo, take a little break, sit down, charge my phone, and yeah, just finish cleaning the house or continue cleaning the house. That never ends, but that's okay. <laughs> I have a house to clean and I'm thankful. Yes. Alright, so thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along with us, playing tag, not tag, hide and seek. And yeah, just uh, enjoying this beautiful fresh air. And spring is just around the corner. Hey, it's it's you're starting to see. Yep, um, where my grandma's garden is or was. It's kind of overgrown, but um, the irises are starting to peek through. So yeah, spring is coming. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I really, truly, really appreciate it. Um, and I will see you in the next fun video. Take care, be blessed, and I'll see you soon. Bye.